adding doubles, lesson 1.5. Double means two. In addition, a double is two of the same number that we add together. It's like one plus one, two plus two, or three plus three. We would have double ones, double twos, or double threes. It's just the same number. We add it to it. Another one just like it. See? Same number. Those are doubles. Okay? So, double ones would be one plus one. That would be two. Double twos, that would be two plus two. Two, three, four. Double threes, three plus three is three, four, five, six. Double fours, four plus four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double fives, that's five plus five. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double sixes, that's six plus six. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Double sevens, seven plus seven. We have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Double eights, we have eight plus eight. Can you count with me? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Double nines, that's nine plus nine. We have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. What if we had double zeros? Well, that means we have nothing plus nothing, so we have nothing, right? Zero plus zero is zero. We can do a word problem with doubles. Emma has five cookies, and Tala has the same amount of cookies as Emma. So how many cookies do they have in all? Well, we know that Emma has five cookies, it says in all, so that means we're going to add. And it says that Tala has the same amount of cookies as Emma, so she must have five. Five plus five is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten. Now what if Tala has one more cookie than Emma? How many cookies would they have in all? So it says in all, so we know we have to add. So we know five is how many Emma has. We're adding. And if Tala has one more than Emma, well, she must have six, right? Five plus six is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they have eleven cookies in all. 11 cookies. See, you want to make sure you label what they are. So this would be 10 cookies, wouldn't it? Whenever we do a word problem and we answer what it's asking of us, we label what it is. How many cookies do they have in all? 10 cookies. Now how many do they have in all? 11 cookies, all right? It's very important to label your word problem answers. So that's how you add doubles. They're actually a lot easier to remember than the other add-ins. How good are you at adding doubles? Can you add doubles quickly? Keep practicing, and I'll see you next video, and I'll tell you how this can help you add other numbers. Bye.